Hello and welcome back to Sarah Reacts. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode three <laughs> of The Leftovers and this one's called Crazy White Fella Thinking. Now I absolutely loved the last episode. It was Nora centric which you know I love Nora. She's my favourite character in this whole series. So I was so happy that we got to just see her like the majority of the time. The ending though was fucking crazy. Just it's like what research did you do before you decided to drown a man just because his name's Kevin? and he's the chief of police. I mean, a different Kevin, who used to be the chief of police, appeared at the very end, like, uh, oh, what are you guys doing? But I felt so bad for Nora, because it seems to be a pattern of where she goes on with her days, and then she has bad days where sometimes she wants to take that leap of faith into one of the crazy possibilities that people offer her. I think she called it a carrot stick um, scheme or something like that. And a lot of the time she doesn't believe this, these things. But then when she does, it's always really devastating or it's a big scam or it never works and stuff like that. And I just think, because, you know, I said it when she hugged Wayne that it's it's going to be temporary. It's going to be a temporary cathartic emotional release. And she's just going to feel bad again soon or it's going to build up again. And it has. So, you know, I was right. <laughs> Enough chatting. Let's get into it, shall we? Oh. Is this the day of the depart... Departion? Departion? Departed? I don't know what the right word would be. You're okay. You're okay. What is he doing? And there you have it, folks. The ducks are alive and well. Kevin Garvey Jr. reporting. Because, <laughs> I mean, he kind of seemed similar when he was, um... When Kevin first died and he was in the hotel and he saw his dad in the TV screen. What are you doing? Preventing the apocalypse. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> you reckon right, my friend. And that there is the goddamn sequel. Is it? The book that Matt wrote. So there's more than one copy. <laughs> you go through it with a red pen. I'm sure this isn't the former police chief of Mapleton, New York? Because <laughs> I know Matt would want to talk to him. Who is it? It's your buddy in Australia. I don't want him in Australia. I don't want him anywhere fucking near Australia. Unfortunately, he's on his way with Nora. <laughs> Since you clearly weren't listening the first time I told you, I am not a part of Kevin Jr.'s story. He's a part of mine. Got some scuba gear. Because if I fail down here, you are going to be under a fuck of a lot of water, shithead. Well, best of luck with that, Kevin. Go fuck yourself, Matt. <laughs> Community, just a few... Oops. I'd like you to hear my side. Appropriation of sacred ceremonies without permission, theft of creation songs, Misrepresentation of identity under no circumstances should this man be given access to tribal elders. So I'm curious what he thinks he's stopping for one, what what he's doing to accomplish it. Really. There's a smoldering mattress next to me. A bunch of white dudes lying around in war paint. And I have no fucking memory how I got there or what happened while I did. A town in the outback lost its entire population. A small town, only 14 people. But really? all of them vanished, even the animals. Every living thing in that town was gone except for one thing. Chicken? An egg. Oh. Two days later, it hatched, and they named him Tony. seventh year anniversary of the sudden departure I believe the rains will come 
I have to sing to make it stop. Okay. Right. You have Questions to sing. have answered. <laughs> For the last two years, I've been working my way down the song line. Remember, we've got a deal! Oh! oh. I'm guessing this is how he injured himself. <laughs> I rolled the other way. You saw me, right? I, I tried to miss you. Show a little respect for your fucking elder. Okay, kick him out. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. You've got to just stay quiet. Oh, what? You kill a babe if it would cure cancer. What? Would you kill a baby if it would cure cancer? It's a trolley problem, isn't it? No. That is exactly what I said. Wait! Oh! oh. My answer is always this. Why is it my why do I have to make that decision? <laughs> Me when I got my laptop back after it broke. Please work. Please work. Please work. <laughs> I would double check. Oh. Yeah. Ow. like that um that woman from the last season right across what day is it how long since we last talked oh, that was three weeks ago three weeks Shit. it's just like eight days left Shit. Uh, i'm sorry to hear that can send a photocopy of the book back to me i i, I gave you original i threw it Look, I, I need you to call the Caripa <laughs> Hospital. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay, they'll think about. You can follow the land on you. <laughs> He's dead. last episode. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so is this where the last episode ended? I was going to say why didn't he come out sooner? What if he was passed out? <laughs> where are you ladies up to? Oh. Come on. <laughs> he just woke up. Oh. I finally made it. The next night. I already knew the chapel would be empty before I set foot inside. Because we lost me. all of her family. Jeez. You gave me confirmation that my family now well. sat by his side. Remains have been found on my property. Oh. The remains of five children. What? It was just the dad that went and then they panicked and... I thought they'd gone easy. Gone with everyone else. Jeez. I never even considered searching for them. This was in your hand. Oh, so she just has the page. <laughs> There's a police chief named Kevin. So she assumed they're in Australia. So I thought you were sent by God. She's a very dumb lady. I mean, I don't mean to be harsh, 
Well, calm the fuck up. This is just me. You just got the wrong pattern. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Yes, that was season three, episode three of The Leftovers. <laughs> I really liked Kevin and this, I think she's called Grace, if I'm remembering correctly. Their monologues in this episode are really, really fucking good. I mean, I can't say we've really had Kevin senior-centric episodes this kind of this way. I mean, <laughs> the timeline took a bit of thinking on my part. I don't know whether that was on purpose with the storytelling or whether I am dumb as well as the lady. <laughs> But it was kind of, it was before and after. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the woman's execution was terrible. She was very quick to think it was that Kevin. She seems to be very quick to think of the wrong things. <laughs> like I was saying, it was wrong Kevin. I do wonder if, because we know that Kevin and Nora are coming to Australia, are they going to go to the same place where he is? I mean, I can't imagine they are. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't think Grace is the person that's in charge of this radioact radioactive thing that sends pe pe like people over. So I'm curious where this season's going to go because we've only got, what, like five episodes left? So I'm like, hmm. And, but yeah, so full length on daily access available on patreon.com forward slash And I'll see you next time.